top of the morning, top of the morning. Why? Rastafari, you know. Who know? Why? One of the dull people of life. Mm-mm. Why? Everybody after the sky and hope life comes through out on the table. Mm-mm. But still, nah, I like still, you know. We don't have one catty one time when we didn't like still, you know, man. Oh, God. I may end up losing her. She says she don't want to be optional. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. I may mean, love her to me, you know. But she says she don't want to be optional, my sir. So, I don't know. So, I have to just continue with the journey where I go, you know. Yeah, man. I try to make it short. I don't know if I can make it short. But anyway, if you had listened to, like, the whole, um, First love by snow. If you're privy to that one, then you kind of get a sense of it. But anyway, my first love from nine to around 17, I migrated. So we broke up because, you know, we, I was into certain things and we were supposed to wait till we got married to do certain things. And when I migrated, maybe a year after, it looked like him couldn't wait no more. I mean, we were together like from nine to 17 and him get another girl pregnant. So he obviously started having sex. So I didn't. But anyway, I broke up with him. And you know, afterwards, like after he tried, no, and then we became friends. But you know, he's that first love, you know, you sing love song on the phone, you do the phone. Oh god, those days. And he still talk about it to this day. If I tell you, he reminisces really bad. But anyway, so he was like that guy my dream even though what happened happened in my mind he was always the one so you know i would talk to him as a friend but you know i'm gonna pick up on certain things like i'm the type of person if you set me a foot or earthy the first thing i'll come to my mind okay i need to get your new shoes you know i need to carry go to the doctor I'm, a f- I'm i'm gonna try to fix it if you have a bill for paying it about it i'm gonna be like surprise I paid it. Are you happy now? So it's just me. I come from very naive days, right? So and I'm I'm a work in progress. So trust me. So I think he capitalized on it a lot because he wouldn't come out and ask for things, but he would tell me his problems, and I keep sending, fixing, sending, fixing. And one time, me I said to myself, "Say no, sir. I'm not the type of person that like to ask." You understand? If you never ask, if me never ask you for nothing, okay. And if you keep on giving me, okay. But, you know, I have two sides of me that's always arguing with each other. The other side is saying, no, but that, 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 that is not going to work for a long-term relationship because you need help. So how are you going to be with somebody that constantly takes and you're the type of person that will constantly give? So after a while, no, me, I said, Yes, I'm my first love. I'm always the things that you would end up together, but I don't know if that's how that, that's how work, you know. I'm not sure. So you know my mind slowly but surely I kinda get myself out of that type of fairy tale because that wouldn't work in a marriage or for the long run. So I broke up with him and I I, I made a conscious decision that probably his personality and mine wouldn't work together. But I still put him up there. Me have a dream world in my head that me still put him up there as the one that got away because I try not to, to taint his image at all. Yes, I did meet someone that I thought was the one. And I allowed outside influence to mash up my relationship, the outside influence was my mother not friends or anything like that it was my mother so at the time her opinion was definitely very valued because she's my mother and you'd think that your parents would not steer you wrong after time i come to realize that i had made a very big mistake and that my mother was biased in her comments Um, My mother favored my daughter's father and felt as if that was the person for me. So anyone who came along after him 
was not worthy enough in her eyes and she would make negative comments about where this relationship would be going eventually what she foresaw whatever so in the end i ended up leaving and realized that it was a big mistake later on Big up on yourself. Happy, 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 happy Friday. Yeah, man. Blessed love to each and every one. <laughs> Boy, big topic. I want to say, if you find the one where you consider the one yet, well, 22 years now, me dead, my wife. 22 years. So if she's not the one, then I don't know who is the one. And if after she, I now look no further. So I would have said, yep, I find my one. And we just have to make it work. Make everything work, brother. Nothing, not perfect. Nobody not perfect, but I would just suggest everybody just work with what they have and keep on improving upon it. That's only the biggest thing nowadays, you know. No type of communication. Nobody not communicate. Nobody not try to improve what they have. Everybody just run down glitz and glamour. If I name married, I wouldn't want married to nobody, I know. Because I'd be a poison in this world, I know. Be a fucking poison and corruption. Be a foolishness. Especially the my younger ones that they confuse your fuck. So, if I name married already, I wouldn't want nobody to send me a second down with that now, but I'll just focus on myself. Focus on myself. When I need some happiness, go pay for it and go back to my yard. It's as simple as that. Yeah, man, but I just hope so everybody figure out what they need. That's the most important thing. Figure out yourself first, and then you figure out what you need, and then things will fall in place here. There's no such thing as going out there and you go find the one. You just find somebody where you're compatible with, somebody where you can get along with, somebody where you and them share the same values, and you build upon each other. That's all. That's a relationship. Girl. You build upon each other. It's no perfect one out there. It's no such perfect one. This one's the perfect one, and that's it. That will never happen. So, a man, a man, have to just build upon himself, and then find somebody where you can build with. That's the foundation, right there, sir. Hey, big up for yourself, my view. A long time I haven't participated in a, any form of discussion. Got me busy. We don't get time to catch up with the topic. By the time we catch up with the topic, it's gone past me. But this one is quite interesting. Um, back in the day, I met somebody when I was going to college and um, really liked the guy. Really liked the guy. And um, I keep I keep seeing me and him just straight and at the time I wasn't exposed like that so I mean I like me wanted something else I keep dragging him on you know what like like when he left college because he was there before me two years before me I I kept you know when him come come look for me me try to me no know eventually I left and him find me, me not me no me mean him find me at St. Mary where I used to live. And I left St. Mary and him find me where I lived again and it was it was amazing but we, we we couldn't reconnect after school like that so but every now and then I think about him. Good guy, good guy. Um I I I'm quite satisfied with my current husband, been together for seventeen years so it's not like I am um, regretting the one now. It's just like I can remember that I wouldn't have made a mistake with the one before. In a sense, when when he's a good guy, you know, in my eyes. So, yeah, I would say that's the one that kind of got away. But I have no regrets with whom I'm with now. Hi, my view. I was just saying here, yeah, um, thanks to God. Um, I prayed and he finally sent him and um, after so much prayers and fasting and he finally came away and I'm happily married now five years now and still going strong so yeah I'm grateful and I'm thanking God and you know what God said he put together let no man put a stand I'm just praying every day that God continue to bind us with love and cause cannot be broken my view and families have a good night have a good evening take care bye i met the person that she was the one 
Well, uh, we have got three kids and stuff, and then after that, I realized, oh, she's not, isn't she? Yeah, guys, actually, we in a relationship, man, I fear do everything and stuff, and then she know her. So we just break it off and call it quits, isn't it? So you don't know them all, you say, and everything you say, it's not good. Yeah. Big up yourself, my dear, every time. Yeah, upon the topic here. Yeah. yeah, when you meet someone, thought would have, she's the right person, we're going to make it together. Yeah, we got married one year after the relationship got sour. But for the breakup, what caused the breakup, I don't know. I, I guess it's infidelity. Well, I'm sure it's not on my part, but I think it's infidelity, infidelity cause it. But maybe... In the little garden where me have, she never wanted that she wanted the old forest, you know? So I, I couldn't say. There are more for you, actually, why? And that's it.